Hey, welcome to Attack It Trucking and Car Series. Today uh, we got the 2007 Ford Explorer. Um, we did this cooling fan about two years ago. It was um, just something that I had. I had an electric fan off another car, and the, the clutch fan was uh, going bad. It was. It, it would overheat like at a traffic light sometimes on a hot day so uh, anyways we went to this if you if you want to do one of these you can uh, you can look down in here it's uh, it's a dual fan so You've got that, you've got, uh, I didn't even have my light on, but uh, the way this one runs, it's just two small fans. If, um, if I turn the AC on, the second one will come on. So we did that for the, to minimize the power draw. Well, if you wanted, if you have to do that, the way that we did, I went on a video and it was uh, basically inside of here was was a thermostat lead that uh, that came through, and we I split it off so that it could go to a to the thermostat. And it's I've got inline fuses here. You know, all of these, all of this stuff, like the inline fuses, the thermostat was extra um, I, I actually bought a fan kit a wiring kit and I'm not good real good at electrical but this one worked and I seen on the internet that um, um, that you have to boost the alternator output put heavy gauge wires so that the wires don't get hot um, anyways after, after two years I could show you it's, it's been perfect but uh, today we're going back to it because I'm afraid that um, you know that if I had a if I had a fan like say uh, go bad or something I would have to go in and, and change the wires so that the other fan would come on or uh, but I could I could turn the key right now on that fan. The problem that, one of the problems is if you are uh, not familiar with the truck, if you shut the car off, um, the fan the fan could stay on for an extended period of time, which some cars do that anyways, but I can show you. Um, the only thing that I interrupt it, because a part of the power, I've got it hooked up here, but I've also got another uh, another su uh, power source coming off of the fuse box and that's getting power off of the interior light so the only thing that the only thing that that breaks the the power would be open the door so I, I took this to the tire shop one day and he thought when he shut the car off he thought that uh, that there was a low oil it was just goofy to him and it, it is kind of if you're not, not familiar you know shut the car off and then crack the door open and it shuts the, the fan off which I, I didn't like that but um, honestly the power is nice you, it's noticeable even if it's only five horsepower with this it's so um, smooth on acceleration uh, that's why drag racers do it and and I, I always wanted to do it but like I said um, it, it was nice the extra power is nice but the I'll show you this fan here that I'm gonna put on yeah so get a little 
little more uh, light on that. Yeah, it, it covered the whole radiator, so if you're going to do this and you want to stick something in there smaller, it, it'll it work because you could hear this this fan is, uh, it was for a different vehicle. It came off, the exact fan came off of a uh, another Ford product, it was Ford Escape. Yeah, so anyway, you know, just little things like this. I just took some some metal flash and just some aluminum. And give me something to screw to it, you know, like just to I didn't make a video of it, but you can see And right here's the thermostat. See that probe right there? It never worked right. It was touching. It didn't. Uh, well, it was even into the radiator. You could see that. It see it right. It's not adjusting. So it was into the into the fan the ribs of the radiator uh, the, the range wasn't any good it just didn't never shut the, the fan off and it was never a problem it never drained the battery but I just uh, I'd rather have it mechanical like my Ford Bronco it's, there is no clutch fan it's just straight drive to the water pump so whatever rpm you got that's what you got um, but anyways i'm i'm not going to video installing the the uh the new fan you'll see this we bought this from napa this is it's called an uh, electromagnet electromagnet magnetic actuator that's the part that went bad so it wasn't pulling any air and I didn't want to go to the dealer because I knew I knew that that just uh, would be twice as much as a regular store so but anyway I need to get this thing rolling. What I uh, pretty much just screw that back onto the onto this, which should be simple, and then put the sides on. You know, put my water tank back on. That's all I had to do to get it off. We'll we'll let you see see what the new fan clutch uh, uh, with the new uh, mechanical sounds like when it when it gets done. Thanks. This is it. I mean, if you it's Ford Explorer 2007, it's uh, it's screw onto the shaft. But then it'll also plug in to right here. I almost touched my battery cable here. You can see how I just tape that off that was to the thermostat it tells this thing to to grab harder or, so, or let it slip if it's cool enough but i will demonstrate it you just watch down the there while i turn it to the
it, it don't look like much of a fan. That's only one of them. If you turn the AC on, you got both fans, and it's uh, not giving us one problem. I just, uh, you know, I'll show you what it's what it looks like afterwards, but you can kind of see. Like I said, I'll go underneath. What this is gonna look like. Alright, I uh we got it all done. Um just wanted you to see what this looks like. Um from you know, two years ago I think that's probably looking alright. Let me show you what this looks like over here. Minus this. This is all of the temperature. If you if you ever wanted to do electric cooling fan, you get I had two different I had two fans, so I had two different uh, uh, solenoids. I had inline fuses, heavy gauge wire, the battery, and, uh, and that was the fans. Yeah. I mean that fit perfect. The the radiator was actually fitting good to that. So, but we're just down to where we just started up and uh, just. You know, I'm, I was excited, just as excited putting it back to get back original as I was to put the electric on. But then taking that stuff off, I remembered how how many videos I had to watch jumping power off of the fuse box inside, off of the, the wiper motor to get the second fan. That's what it was. The, the fuse box inside was only going to get power whenever I turned on the AC. It's, I couldn't, because I had it hooked up to the AC compressor and that didn't work. So I had to get it whenever the fuse actually, uh, or whenever that, that fuse was actually given the AC power off of it. I can't remember. But it was working fine, like I said. Um, as far as like the the mechanical stuff, um, these these uh, wires right here were, were starting to corrode, so you can see I had to wrap them real good. And then I've got some stuff that you kind of you get it hot I think I already took it inside that's that green stuff it, all it is is like a rubber and it sealed it off where it can't get no more um, movement on there and uh, but yeah all right start it up you keep you stay out here I got the key
say it's normal for the idle to come down after a minute or so. Or not the idle, the uh, that noise from the fan. have to make sure this fan gets gets into the hose it's hitting that hose see how much I guess like in certain situations when that hose expands or whatever it starts rubbing the hose, the uh, fan that's uh, I think this was a uh, Gates, no, I think it was a, uh, Continental belt. The other ones were, were all, were all rubbing the belt of the, the blade and then uh, we tried the auto parts store. They seen, they recognized the problem, they, they gave me the uh, the next one up for the same cost, which I, it saved me about eight bucks. But anyways, I'm just now noticing that things getting in, getting rubbed by the fan again. So, but anyways, yeah, I think I think this is is much more uh, reliable. The again, if if you're uh, if you wanted to try it, just make sure that you run all your relays and everything that 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 was what saved us and um, when, whenever we were uh, like on the hot days where it's, it's it's cooler now you're wearing a jacket but um, on the hot days that's that's when you um, that's when those fans and everything are drawing the most off of the battery when you're running the AC, like it might be at nighttime, just think about that. You, these cars are not, these alternators are not designed to sit there and just run stuff like that. Like today, a lot of the, a lot of a lot of your lights and everything are all LED, and it uh, it makes the charge it makes it makes the job of the alternator easier. So, which I don't have anything LED. In this so but appreciate let you guys uh we want to let you know that we appreciate you guys watching our videos and everything and uh you know the ones that that watched it to the end we'll let you know we'll we'll do some more stuff with this truck because i'm i'm wanting to keep it um it's been a good one i think it's under 180,000. so Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Yep, and and uh, just uh, tag today, and and thanks for watching.